Hello. The heat wave has ended with a bang. Not everyone has seen a thunderstorm during recent days, but where they have occurred, there's been some intense rainfall and some flooding impacts. And at the time of recording, lots of lightning going on across parts of Kent. Now, the thundery low causing this very lively and impactful weather is moving away. A ridge of high pressure already bringing fine weather to much of the north and the northwest on Wednesday. But increasingly, we're going to turn our attention to the west and to the jet stream over the next few days, something we've not often done during recent weeks. And uh, the jet stream is picking up some oomph, it's picking up an area of low pressure, so that by Thursday, well, cloud and rain for parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland, mostly it's light to moderate rain, it's on and off, and it's pushing uh, southeastwards, and that means northwest England, north and west Wales sees that rain by the afternoon, some moderate to heavy bursts as well. Nowhere near as heavy as some of the thunderstorms we've seen during recent days, however. Ahead of that, one or two early showers in the far southeast, they clear away. Sunny spells, 26 or 27 Celsius, so feeling quite warm still, but much cooler towards the north and northwest, especially where we've got those outbreaks of rain or later on some showers for Scotland and Northern Ireland. Further showers for Scotland and Northern Ireland on Friday. Some sunshine in between, also some showers getting into parts of Northern England. One or two early showers clearing from the southeast, and then sunny spells for much of the southern half of the UK, and temperatures at around average in the south, a little below average further north, where it will turn more breezy by the end of the day. And that's because the Atlantic is now driving our weather, and a couple of features to look out for moving over the Atlantic during Friday. This one will affect us on Sunday and Monday, but this increase in the winds and the jet stream, well, that's likely to spin up an area of low pressure. And at the moment, some uncertainty about how deep that low will be early Saturday, because it depends on its interaction with the jet stream. But it could bring some coastal gales early Saturday for parts of Western Scotland. It's also going to bring an area of rain into Scotland and Northern Ireland, that rain sinks into central areas, northern England, parts of the Midlands, North Wales, by the afternoon, turning more showery as it does so, replaced by sunny spells and blustery showers for northwestern areas. And one or two showers will form ahead of it, but also some sunny spells. However, wherever you are, whether or not we get those gales in the west of Scotland, it's going to be a breezy day on Saturday, and that'll make it feel cool. Now, into Sunday, and again, we look to the west, where an area of low pressure is approaching and this one contains a lot more moisture. It also contains some higher humidities. That will be more apparent on Monday. But what that means is after a fine start on Sunday we keep sunny spells and dry weather in the east whilst it turns cloudy and increasingly damp further west. Initially the rain light and on and off but through Sunday night and into Monday, the rain turns heavier, especially over western hills. The rain will be at its heaviest in the west and over higher ground. And then it clears east, turning more patchy, turning more showery, with uh, less rain for southeastern areas, followed by brighter interludes and showers. But again, a keen breeze. However, this breeze now coming from the southwest, so it's going to be lifting temperatures. And actually, you can see that on the temperature trend graph for southern areas and for northern areas. Now, the red boxes are the ones to look out for. The south on the bottom there, the north on the top. The red line shows the average for the time of year. So for the south, through the rest of the week, temperatures lowering back to average for the weekend. And then you can see that uptick in temperatures by Monday, and they continue to climb through the rest of next week. By that time, the boxes are getting bigger, so greater uncertainty about the precise values by the end of next week and into the bank holiday weekend. But what's clear is that most of these boxes are above the average line. So back to average this weekend and then rising to above average, increasingly so, towards the bank holiday weekend. A similar trend for northern areas, although here those boxes dip below average Friday, Saturday, Sunday before rising above average again. And once more, for the north, it looks like those temperatures will be a little above average for the bank holiday weekend. Neither uh, of these areas show significantly above average temperatures, just a little above average. So although the temperatures will be rising again next week, there are no indications at the moment of a heat wave on the same scale as previous heat waves this summer. What's going on? Well, another couple of graphs to show you here. These are showing the geopotential height at 500 hectopascal. 
no need to worry about what that means. Essentially, it's a proxy for the surface pressure. So the higher the line goes on the graph here, the higher the pressure, essentially. And basically, the trend is clear again. These are lines plotted from 52 computer model runs to get an idea of the spread or how much the computer models agree or disagree as you look out towards the next 10 days. And what they all tend to show is this uh, rising pressure trend. So higher pressure both for the south and for the north, although a bit less agreement, a bit more spread for northern areas. So higher pressure and another way of showing that are these coloured weather patterns and the cumulative probability out to the next couple of weeks. What this basically shows is that over the next few days, the blue colours represent low pressure close to the UK. And then those blues get replaced by reds, which represent weather patterns that have high pressure close to the UK. And this dark red becomes dominant from the middle of next week. And that dark red indicates typically blocked weather patterns. So a high pressure system close to the UK blocking areas of low pressure. But there are different ways that can manifest itself. And looking in closer detail at what those patterns may look like, this is the most likely from a combination of different computer models. And it shows high pressure from the Azores extending across the UK from the West. A similar weather pattern that keeps repeating itself throughout this summer. But that could also turn into these two weather patterns, which are also showing up in many of the computer model runs. High pressure close to the UK or just to the north of the UK. And uh, what these would bring is easterlies or southeasterly breezes. And that potentially could lead to average or just above average temperatures rather than southerlies or light winds, which would lead to well above average temperatures. And so the trend is clear. Higher pressure through next week a rise in temperatures, but a heat wave similar to previous heat waves this summer is looking unlikely.